Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of permutations and combinations. And if I talk about the question, which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us to find out the total number of three digit numbers that I can form, which are divisible by three. So that is the condition given to us that we need to form three digit numbers, which should be divisible by three and which can be formed using the digits. So the options of digits that I can select from is one, three, five, and eight. So I can select any number from only this four and repetition of the digits is allowed. So that's the main idea. Repetition is allowed. So I can have three, one, I can also have three threes. I can also have two threes and one five, anything can be possible. And the question asks us how many three digit numbers you can form with this. The answer choices given to us are 21, 22, 18, and the last one, 20. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choice is a correct answer for the number of three digit numbers I can form here. So I have four options with me. First of all, let's write them one, three, five, and eight. And we also know that reputation is allowed and we need to form three digit numbers. So let's see. And they should be divisible by three as well. So if they are divisible by three, I know for the divisibility test of three that some of the digits should be divisible by three. So if I write that some of the digits that I'm selecting to form a three digit number, they should be easily divisible by three. So if that is the case possible, you can form those three digit numbers. So let's find some of those three digits that we are selecting out of one, three, five, eight. It can be first case three. When it is three, the options that are available for me to select from is I can only select one, one, and one. So I can select all the three ones only because if I select any number other than one, the sum won't be three. It would become greater than three. So that is only one option, one, one, one. We'll figure out how many numbers I can form later. But let's first understand the cases that I can have. Next I can form is some of the digits can be six. I'm just writing all the multiples of three. So if I want to form six, I can have one plus five. That is six, but I am selecting only two. I have to select three numbers to, to form a three digit number. If I select, let's say one plus three, that is again four and five, which is again nine. I can also do one, one and three. That is again five. I can do one, three, three, that is again seven. So I get no option available in this case to form the sum six. So there is no case of six available here. So this gets canceled out. Let's see the next. Next, the sum can be a third multiple of three, which is nine basically. So if I check for nine as the sum of the digits, sum of the digits nine can be formed by one, three, and one five to be selected. So basically three options that I'm selecting is one plus three plus five, which is nine, or I can also have all the three threes. So three, 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 that will also give me nine. So for nine, I have got two cases where I can select this three numbers or this three numbers. So I can form three digit numbers using these options. We'll find out how many three digit numbers we can form later, but let's see for the cases first. Now, next I can have the sum to become 12, which is the next multiple of three. So with that, I can see out of one, three, five, eight, if I want to form the sum as 12, I can have one plus three, which is four and four plus eight, which is 12. So I can have one, three, eight, my first option. Next, if I try out, I can form, let's say three, five and one. So that gives me nine. I can take three, three and one that is seven. I can also take five, three, which is eight, but I am selecting only two options. I need to select three. So only one case is possible, which we have already written, which is one, three, eight. Next multiple of three, I can write as 15. So to form 15, I can just know that it can be five, 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 first option. Other options, if I try out eight, three, one, which is 13, doesn't work. Eight, three, three. So eight plus, 3, 11, 11 plus 3, 14. It doesn't work out to become 15. So again, no other case possible apart from 555. 
Now, next I want is sum of the digits to become the next multiple of three, which is 18. So for 18, if I see the options can be, if I take, let's say eight first, so eight and then 10 remains. So five plus five, I can do. So I can take five, five and eight. If I take, let's say three, five and eight. So three, five is eight, eight plus eight is 16. I want 18. So that doesn't work out. So other all options are gone there. If I take even two eights, eight plus eight is 16 and then one, one, which will make 17, eight plus eight, 16 and plus three, if I do it's 19, I need 18. So that doesn't work out. So 18 has only one case again. Next case, 21. So let's try to make 21. So for 21, I'll take both the two eights first. So eight and eight, 16. So only five remains. So I can get that. So I get five, eight, eight as my next option there. If I try with three also, it doesn't work out because if I take one, three also, it gives me 18 as the balance, which cannot be adjusted, but even two eights. So only one option remains there. And the next multiple, if I see it's 24. And I think 24 should be the highest number because if I'm taking the highest number also three times and adding them eight plus eight plus eight, that is 24. So I cannot have a number greater than 24 as my sum. So these are all the options that we have for the numbers to be formed, three digit numbers to be formed from these options with repetition where the sum of the digits will become divisible by three. So that the three digit numbers also that we are forming will be divisible by three. Now let's find out how many total number of ways are there in which we can form this three digit numbers. So one, 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 I'm selecting three times one that can be done in three factorial ways. And since one is repeating three times, we divide by three factor. So I'm forming only one number in this case. Second, one, three, five, I'm selecting three numbers. So that can be done in three factorial ways and no number is repeating again. So three factorial ways means I can form six numbers in this case. Here again, three, three, three. So three factorial because I'm selecting three numbers. So selection of the numbers can be done in three factorial ways and dividing by three factorial because that three is repeating three times. So you again get one three digit number formed here. Next here, if I do it, three numbers selected and none of them is repeating. So six again, again, three numbers selected. So three factorial five repeating three times. So dividing by also that same repetition of numbers. So one number again here, if I do three factorial dividing by five repeating two times. So two factor. So that gives me three numbers again. Here also, if I do three numbers selected, so three factorial ways in which I can do the selection of three numbers, dividing by two factorial because eight's repeating two times. And the last one, eight repeating three times, so three factorial divided by three factorial. So I again get only one number in this case. So in total, let's see how many numbers we have formed. So one plus six, seven plus one, eight plus six, 14, 15, 18, 21, 22. So in total, I can form 22 three digit numbers using these options 1358 where reputation is allowed so that the number becomes divisible by three. And if you see the answer choice that matches here with the question that is 22, it is option B. So B becomes a correct answer here for the question which is given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the ideas of finding how many three digit numbers we can form using the options given with some conditions that says it has to be divisible by three. So we found out various cases here and with all the cases, we found out how many three digit numbers I can form. And once we added them, we got the total number of three digit numbers as 22 that matches with option D. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.